Today in Fort Worth, Eastern Hills and Dunbar High School fans traded in their school colors for white, standing together to speak out against gun violence. Our Ali Spilliard says more on their message and the stories driving the call for change. Amid an afternoon of crosstown rivalries, Eastern Hills and Dunbar High paused to come together. And ladies and gentlemen, buoyed by city leaders as they stand against gun violence. And we have young people who have no hope and don't even see the value in their own lives. We have a recipe for violence. This whiteout against violence was the brainchild of Eastern Hills head coach Melvin Miller. There's not a day go by that we don't think about things like this. Um, I think maybe every year that I've been in education, We've had to deal with this. Just before the new year, he says his world was rocked when former player Jordan Miles was killed in a drive-by on San Rose Drive. It's one of countless tragedies that's targeted this community's youth. Like one year ago when two teens were shot in a Whataburger parking lot, killing a 16-year-old Pasco High student. Whether it's mentorship, whether it's church, whether it's school counselors. We just want to let them know that, hey, um, there are resources out here for you. Other than picking up a gun, there's a lot of other things you could do. Making today's show of unity not just a statement for families. It's time for us to, to, to say, hey, we, we, don't want to, we don't want to put up with this anymore. But also a reminder for these teens that they're not alone. So they look around and see all these people come out to support them, watch them play a basketball game, but support them in love, then that, that gives a different type of attitude a different type of pride in, in yourself so it's important in fort worth <laughs> ali spilliards nbc5